So we've previously looked at calculating gram formula mass and on its own gram formula mass isn't that useful. What we need to do now is have a look at using gram formula mass to either calculate the number of moles we have present in a substance or the mass of a substance that we require for a reaction. To do this we use an equation which you can draw as a triangle if you wish. It has mass here, moles and gram formula mass. So this vertical line means multiply and this horizontal line means divide. This is the equation that we're going to be using throughout this video. It can also be written as mass equals moles times gram formula mass. And you can simply rearrange the equation to depending on what you want to have a look at. In this first example, we are trying to find the mass of three moles of sodium oxide and we've been given the formula. So to use the triangle, you would circle the thing that it is you're looking for. So we're looking for mass. We've been given the number of moles and we can calculate the gram formula mass from the formula. So we have two out of three parts of this triangle, which means we can calculate the third. So to work out the gram formula mass, we write down the formula. We find that sodium has a relative atomic mass of 23. And as there are two of them, we multiply it by two. Oxygen has a relative atomic mass of 16, and we only have one. And added together, this gives us 62 grams per mole. We're now going to look at trying to mass of three moles. So we would write out our equation, mass equals moles times gram formula mass. And then we substitute in the numbers that we're using. So 3 moles times 62 would give us a mass of 186 grams of sodium oxide. And that there is our final answer. The other way that you may be asked to use this same triangle is to calculate the number of moles present in a certain mass. So I'll draw the triangle out again for reference. So, the question is asking us to calculate the number of moles present in 150 grams of calcium carbonate. So we're looking for moles, we've been given a mass, and we can calculate the gram formula mass from the formula. So we have two out of the three, we can go ahead and calculate the third part. The first step is to calculate the gram formula mass. Calcium has a relative atomic mass of 40, Carbon has a relative atomic mass of 12 and oxygen a relative atomic mass of 16 multiplied by 3 as we have 3 oxygens present. This gives us a gram formula mass of 100 grams per mole. Now rearranging our equation we are calculating moles which is equal to mass divided by gram formula mass and then we insert our numbers. So from the question our mass is 150 grams divided by 100 grams per mole will give us 1.5 moles of calcium carbonate in the compound. 